Good keep. Steve, well done tonight. Uh, two 0 win. Do we make a little of a little bit of hard work over something a, a match we largely dominated? Yeah, we had plenty of chances to uh, seal the game earlier. Um, first half we had a few. Second half we started really well and had two chances in the first five minutes. So yes, we left it till to the last minute. Um, and as I said to him just now, if you don't kill the game off, you can come back and they, they can just get a goal, whether they deserve it or not. They can come back and get one. I thought they worked really hard tonight, their team, sitting bomb. Um, I can see them doing well in their league if they play like that every week because they did work hard. Um, we didn't really threaten us. A um, couple of last ditch changes we had to make, but I don't think Tony apart in the first half set a save to make, and it was 25 yards. So I give the boys credit um, for sticking to their guns. End of the day, it's a victory. Hopefully, it builds a bit of confidence for them, and um, we move on to Saturday of Ashford. Definitely, that's what we needed, wasn't it? That bit of confidence. Yeah, that's why I didn't change the side too much tonight because them players that played Saturday um, needed to get back on the bike, if you like, and go again and change the system a little bit, like I did at Folkestone. Um, and I thought it worked. You know, I thought we started getting people running behind, which we haven't done the last few games. Um, getting crosses in, and I, we, we've done that. We got 16 in the first half, and that's the first time we've done that in ages, getting loads of crosses in. Um, just got to know when to cross it and when to keep possession. You know, you can't cross it if there's three v one in their favour. But that will come. The pleasing thing that we was on the front foot all through the game, um, and that's what I want us to get us back to. You know. But as ever, of course, Sittingbourne, they were going to get one really good chance towards the end. You always felt that, and of course they did, but the, the, yeah. the guy booted it right way over the bar. No, that's it? right, that's right. They got the chance, and, and we sort of like lived to fight another day, and we went up and got, got the penalty. And um, some impressive performances out there tonight. Uh, but like I say, it was mainly that them first. I could have changed the whole thing. I could have put a lot of the youngsters in. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to play the side. Most of them that played Saturday. Um, to get some confidence back in winning football matches and hopefully that takes into Thursday training Saturday against Ashford. Definitely. But talking of youngsters, uh, I thought uh, Cameron Millam did well and the young Liam Smith, I thought he had an excellent day. He made one nervous mistake at the start of the half yeah. but then he grew into the game and he was having a, a, a cracking time. Yeah, well you've got uh, Cam has been playing that position for John all season and John's said he's done really well so I had no problem putting him in. He played for me last year. Um, Liam coming in you know, at 16 years of age, you, you think, I've watched him in the FA Youth Cup games, uh, got a good report back from Jay and John. But in general, like I say, I've watched them Youth Cup games and I thought he was someone that had energy, um, desire, and proved it by his last goal. Five, always gone up for the header and almost had his head punched off. But he was in, a, in there to, to, to do that. And I thought, when he started, I told him not to be nervous, he's gone out there. He's let the winger know exactly who he is straight away, give a foul away. But that's what you've got to do, you've got to size your wingers up. And he done that, but him going forward, Tony's caught the ball and he's, he's breaking forward in the last three minutes, you know. Um, and getting forward, a couple of shots I think he had, you know, he's um, got the penalty. So, very, very good prospect, you know, we'll, we'll keep his feet on the ground, hopefully he will. Because um, it's only one half. But what a good half it was. You know, if he can build on that, the boy's got a good future ahead of him, whether that's here or somewhere else. But it's about patience as well. You know, I had Tommy, Tommy Chapman and um, Callum Taylor on the bench. And if things have gone a little bit easier, should I say, um, and not the slight knocks we took, they'd have been on the pitch as well. You know, it was only that folks he felt was growing a little bit, so he'd come off at half time. And natural placement is um, Liam. And, and I thought we'd done fantastic. And like I say, the other boys will get a chance in the other cup games. Just didn't work tonight because Scans had a little slight hip flexor that Melf said come off, and Fippo a slight hamstring. And it was one of them. Rather than push them through it, change it. And it was just unfortunate I couldn't get the other two on. But Liam done very well. Definitely. But nothing too, in terms of injuries, nothing too serious. No precaution. Of... Just yeah. precaution, you know. Sensible. We want to get through. Um, <coughs> but it's one of those, if we don't. Uh, I want to have 11 fit players to play on Saturday and that's why they come off and I thought like I say bought Nick and Luke on um, done well but I thought Liam was very very good tonight uh, so we play Ashford on Ashford Middlesex on Saturday uh, aside from a level similar to what we played tonight seeing born but I understand scoring for fun at the moment they're doing quite well in their league uh, what do we know about them Adam watched um, won't give too much away in case people watch the interviews but we've Adam watched uh, we'll we'll 
again, as I always say, we'll um, try and nullify their threats. They beat the team that were fifth on Saturday, I think, by five or six, you know. But we've had them watch them, and we'll just approach it as we always do. Hopefully, we'll get our scoring boots on, um, and we, we can get through to the next round. But it's not going to be easy. The boys know that. I've got George and Sonny back training on Thursday, hopefully. Um, maybe Bradley. So there's positive signs there. Um, like I say, whether they make an appearance Saturday or next Tuesday, we'll wait and see. But good signs are that they're coming back to fitness. Um, and the three that come off today, there's nothing to worry about because that was just precaution. Definitely very good news. Well done tonight, Steve. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thanks, Cheers. Right, Thanks, mate. Well played tonight. Uh, Cheers. Is that uh, more comfortable than the team will suggest? Yes, I think we had quite a few chances, first and second half. We created a lot, a lot of crosses in the box. I think um, Steve had someone doing the crosses in the box. I think we had over 30 balls in the box. So we probably should have been more comfortable than 2 0, but we'll take it. And you needed that late second goal. <laughs> yes, yeah, it sort of killed the game off, something we were pressing for. Um, but it looked a lot better than we did Saturday, which is good. That was important, wasn't it, to just get Saturday out of your system as a team? Yeah, it's, um, even sort of playing in the, in the cup like this, you do need results and winning becomes a habit, which is something that we did have at the start of the season. We want to try and get back to it again. Any idea of what the problem's been for the last few, few games? It's one of those things where I think I can't really put my finger on it. It's just something hasn't clicked and you get dips in form and sometimes you get dips in form, two, three, four players. But, well, apart from Saturday, it was probably nearly all of us, we can all say, we didn't have a good game. When that happens, you're always fighting an uphill battle. But hopefully, a win today, win Saturday, get us back on track. But what's the key to, to getting over uh, a blip? I think you just all got to work hard as a team. You've just got to, like, I don't think we were pressing as high um, the last few games, which Steve did tell us, we need to start pressing more. Um, I think we did that today. I think you just got to work together, not get on each other's backs, and just work hard as a team, and, and you'll get the result. Mm. Um, back at side, having played the last couple of games, and uh, now Craig's gone back. Um, confident that you know, you're going to get the goals, stay on the side. I need to start scoring. Um, <laughs> you got no, there, no doubt about it. I think I've got three. Yeah. Um, I need to start scoring, um, which Steve has told me. I know that as well. Uh, like I got twenty something odd goals last year. Um, but I'll do other sides of my game which aren't necessarily on the stats. Um, I will work hard. Steve knows that, but he, I do need to get more goals, which hopefully in the next few games I can start getting. Hmm. Is that all he said to you? Is that, that that's that's the reason why so he got he got, got Craig in just needs yeah he got goals. He out gave of he gave me a chance hmm. um, first after Andre got injured. He gave me a chance and I didn't really score. So he's brought Craig in, which is fair enough. Need goals as a striker. Um, then when I was coming off the bench, I was scoring a few, so it sort of given me my chance. And I'll, I will get frustrated at myself, but I know I can do it. I just need to put one in off of anything, off my knee or something, and then it could go from there. It's important just the rest of your game, isn't it? In tonight, you obviously showed that, that that effort you put in, the sort of tireless ninety-minute running that we're used to from you. Yeah, I sort of tonight, wasn't it? struggled a little bit tonight because I haven't <laughs> had a full ninety for a while. I think Folkestone in the cup was my last yeah. one. So I'm going to feel it tomorrow, but um, I'll always do it. I'll keep my fitness levels up. It's just that sort of match fitness, sharpness. Sometimes I won't have yet where I might be half a yard short, which I'll get that back. But, yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.